Guys, look at. Hello, hola, bonjour, hey, hey y'all, <laughs> my name is Merck and this is my first live stream. I'm just learning how to use the streaming equipment. Thank you for joining me and welcome back to the Narc Alert. <laughs> I'm still a little sick, you guys, and I gotta tell you, honestly, I'm, I, I'm disassociating a little bit. It happens. Uh, my very handsome co-host is here, Mr. Rio, Mr. Rio Rio. The Bobo, Mr. Man, the most handsome man of all the handsome men. But he's he's being aloof. Because he's a bit of a goof. See, Amber and I have a lot in common. I'm also a bit of a poet. Perry, Prairie ASMR is a member for one month. Says, are you going to collaborate with Chris Griffin? <laughs> Maybe. I don't. I'm confusion. Don't. I'm sick. Um, yes. Uh, I want to welcome anybody. I think Aaron, Aaron, were you first? I'm not sure. I think Aaron was first. Um, you guys are, um, you're too fast here. I got these things now. We got this thing now. It's called fan funding. I can click on this and it says, I can say, Valentine, thank you very much for your early Super chat. Don't forget to like the video. Jamie, thank you for generously gifting five members. If you want a free membership, you want to get in early because Jamie doesn't, you know, you know. Uh, yeah. Prairie, we just read yours. Deanna, thank you for your super chat. Deanna has an announcement. Michael and, and I like men. And, uh, well, I'm, you know, I'm on board with that. Michael, thank you for the super chat. Michael likes men and Aaron was first. Finally, Aaron. Aaron was first. I, I saw that and I saw a couple of mods saying, no, it didn't count because they were mods and all that. But I'm telling you, I'm chaotic as all get out now. I'll go back over here so I can read this. Um, okay. Hey, look, did you see? Look what's behind me. <laughs> the big homophobe. I don't have one. I got two. Okay. I got two. I got, I got the normal one the Canada one, and then I got the progress, okay? I got the progress. Progress? Progress. Pride flag. Um, yeah, because I'm such a big homophobe. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of notes here because, as I mentioned, I'm, I'm chaotic today. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, I'm reading the chat. I'm seeing Javi is getting in trouble. Javi, I don't know what you're doing. Oh, you're already off the... You guys are in... Un, you're, I don't know what's wrong with you. Are you okay? You guys, are you okay? Charlotte Reed says, My fiancé is out for his bachelor party. I have the whole bed to myself, and I get to watch the live stream snuggling with the doggy man. Awesome. Can't imagine a better way to watch. So, yeah, it's uh, Pride Month um, here in the city of Toronto, and I guess around the world. Yeah, because we had international pride here a few years ago, so, yeah. Um, so I thought, do I have this? I have a thing. I have a thing. I have a thing I wanted to show you that I thought you might find fun. That wasn't it. Why would that come up? So as you know, Saturdays, I go out with my dear best friend, Uncle Uncle Daddy Tim. And I usually film this kind of stuff for the... Uh, for my vlogs, but I thought because it's timely and it's Pride Month, it would be a good... I'll, I'll show you guys anyway. I just wanted to show you a little clip. Hey, Life with Lynn is in downtown Toronto. True, flying my Pride flags proudly. So Tim and I were, and I were out today, and I did want to pick up a new Pride flag, so that's what we did. And I picked up the Canada one, and he said that that's an abomination of the Canadian flag. My gay friend Tim said that. Don't come for me and tongue planted firmly in cheek because, you know, we're sarcastic. So he, he wanted to make sure I, that I had the progress. If you don't know what the progress pride flag is, it includes um, persons of color who or marginalized people of color as well. I just want to, I thought this, you might want to, you, good Lord, Merck, for the love of God, Merck, can you speak English? <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you might enjoy this. A little tour of all the flags that I could have bought today. Okay? Let me see. Uh, let me know if you can hear it. This was in a store that we went to today. Let me know if you can't hear it. I'm assuming you can. Rainbow Canada. Tans, tans gender, sorry. If it's very, very quiet, can I, uh, I don't think I can change the volume, but you know what? I'm literally just rhyming off the names of the flags. I don't think it's, let me try something else. Let me try something else. Hang on. You know, we have ways around. Here, try this on for size. Oh, <laughs> it's a lot better if you can see it. <coughs> Sorry, guys. All right, let's try again. And we have a regular rainbow flag. And we've got the transgender. Can you oh, hear it this better? is the tans gender. A little different. Gender fluid. Man, we got all the flags in here. We got the progressive. We got the butch lesbian. Thanks, Aaron. Oh, my Discord's gonna love seeing all these. Lipstick. We got poly. We got non binary. 
We got you all covered, guys. Oh, if I hit in the jump. Asexual? We got you all covered here. Spirit flag? I know, the typos oh, are funny. Of course made it. <laughs> it's a bear flag. <laughs> Woohoo! Cute, eh? I know, the spelling was funny, but typos aside, uh, you know, it wasn't. The typos are not made with ill intent. <laughs> So that's what we were doing today. So I, th I hope we got you all represented there. I guess the lipstick one is there's a butch lesbian and a lipstick lesbian one. I don't think they're trying to mock. It's a, a heavy pride section in that store. And of course, you know, it's that time for Mr. Man. Heroisms, thank you for that. I know, I'm going to try and read this. You'll have to bear with me if I don't pronounce it right, because, you know, it's a big word. Heroism says, I know this is a big word, but I'm glad I got to white nice this. White. White. Weed. Weedness. Weed. Weedness. Weed. Oh, 420. Okay. God, thanks. Thanks, Heroism. What do you want up here? What what the hell do you think you're doing? It's that time of the show? It's that time, I guess, eh? Really? We're sitting on the notes. We're eating the headphones. It's that time. Can you sit over here, please? Thank you very much. You're such a good boy. <laughs> no, I was not for real. I'm not for real. I'm not real. <laughs> Where are they? They're right here. You know, we've trained him. You guys have trained him well. You are excellent cat trainers. I know, there's an echo. You heard that, right? He thought he heard treats over there when they were just over here because there's an echo. Nelkita says, I got pictures of my cat last night stream staring lovingly at Rio. Oh my gosh. That's adorable. I love that. Riri. Look, there's very many. We're very sireny tonight. He gets very many treats tonight. Your little mouth is so warm. Oh, he hoovered those. Are you are you good now? Are y'all good? You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Are you gonna go on the couch now onto the real cam? Are you go go onto the onto go go onto the real cam? It's waiting for you. It's like the love boat. It's exciting and new, and it's waiting for you. So we've had our real, yes, uh, we're going to get right to that heroism. Uh, we've done our mucking about. We've looked at all of the pride flags that we could look at because, you know, uh, it is my job as a homophobe to make sure that we, we see all of the pride flags. Um, we said congratulations to Aaron for being first. Michael Williams, thank you for the super chat. Oh, Michael Williams has been gifting members. Michael Williams gifted two, once, twice, so two. Thank you for your gifted memberships and uh, a super chat uh, where Michael said, I love you guys. You you think I'm going to get embarrassed and not. I love it when you think I might get embarrassed and not read things. Michael Williams, thank you for the super chat. Michael Williams suggests, let's review Snowflake's whole. With a W. So assuming he means the whole body of work. Oh, someone in my comments, guys, don't worry, but it was just stupid, and we're just leaning into it, because that's what we do here. <laughs> that's what we do. I was telling Uncle Tim the story about art. I said, oh, Amber Lynn called me art. And then I looked at him, I said, so I made merch. And he just about fell over. Michael, I, you probably could, well, no, I won't say you never could, because you guys could. 
You could embarrass me. Um. Yo, you know what? Here's my notes. Two lines. I wrote down two lines. You know what they say? Amber's live. More of the same. <laughs> That's what I literally wrote that down. And Destiny Dog Story. Karina, thank you for the super chat. Karina says, Free the Bulge 2023. Uh, Mr. Snowflake. I'd like to say I feel sorry for him, but quite frankly, he he is he cultivated this for himself. <laughs> Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta be on that mute. <coughs> oh, I missed. Allison says, hey, Merck, just here to lurk. Might comment a few crazy things later on when we get to the big cherry. That's where we're going real soon. <laughs> Snowflake is on a mission. Yes, we watched her lives. So I thought it might be fun. You know, I thought... Uh, Michael Williams, thank you for the super chat. Michael says, I solemnly swear to never embarrass Daddy Burke. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm not sure that I believe you. And that's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought it might be fun tonight to look at, um, you know, all the all the times Anne Berlin was a, was a mean girl. And no, I wasn't going to look at the AppFax video. You know what pisses me off is AppFax and I both did an Anne Berlin re- Amber, oh my God, I'm so, am I ever going to get healthy again? Amber Lynn Reed Mean Girl video. We both did one within four weeks of each other. Mine has 20,000 views. Theirs has like 190 or 230. Or like it's, come on, man. Mine is easily as good as theirs. It's easily equitably good. Damn YouTube. Miss Tomato Jam gifted a member. Thank you, Miss Tomato Jam. Miss Tomato Jam's the welcome wagon lady. If you go on our introduce me thread, she'll be right in there right away. You just set yourself down. She'll be coming in with some sweet tea any second. Miss Tomato Jam is now renting Uncle Grandpa. Yeah, I can't see the two chats I've got open now. <laughs> Please don't make me an open another chat window. I'm trying so hard to keep up. I got all the the fan funding stuff in this window so I can see it and then I got the chit chat here that I can post on the screen on this time anyway Cesa Stanley I actually had some um uh Tim Hortons uh tomato uh, chicken rice soup I love that Tim Hortons chicken rice soup in the can and I haven't been eating it because you know carbs dink why are you gonna sit in the wrong place um but I'm not, I, I'm sick, so I'm going to let, you know, I'm only at about 50 carbs today anyway, so 50 grams. Aaron's chat is glitched. Apparently, it, they're still having problems. I hear H3 complaining about it still. It's all um, iPad, iPhone. I know. Yes, I'm eating. I had some soup. I don't usually eat before the stream. I had soup. No, oh, Tim Hortons has everything. It's just like Canadian Tire. Tim Hortons doesn't just have coffee and donuts. Canadian Tire doesn't just have tires. Um, I felt very bad. Um, I didn't say welcome to all my mods. Mods, thank you and for being here and welcome. I didn't say hi to you guys. Scott, welcome to the family. You are now completely alert. We deem you totally alert. Um, I know I'm having a coffee today instead of tea because I've had 12,000 cups of tea in the last four days and I'm over it. Thank you very much. Deanna reminds us to put it on live chat and to leave a like, babies. Baby. That's how she said, bebe. So anyway, I was going to look at you guys. I'm so distracted by you guys. I'm disassociating. I wanted to cover the Mean Girls video because it's fun and funny. And I just thought, you know, we could use some fun and funny. And then, well, what the heck happened an hour and a half ago? Well, Miss Amberlyn Reed decided herself to pull her chair up and have a little live stream for us. 
So, Subi Yumiya. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, you are now completely alert. <laughs> you know, she's tainted things like saying, I'm really sorry, I hope I get your name right. Except I think there's ways that come across more genuine. So, Mr. Man has clearly chosen his spot. Don't mock me. My pants don't match my shirt, okay? I didn't think you were going to see my pants. Don't mock me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh, maybe you can't even, maybe you can't even see them, which would be, you know, which would be the really the best solution of all. But we got to get the man sorted here. Frame that cat. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Riri. Nice oh no oh you're such an ass. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Aaron, thank you for the gifted member and Deanna, thank you for the gifted members, you guys. Gifting all the members all over the crazy. I know, Life with Lynn, did you see? See what he did? He's an ass. All right. So you know what we got to do because... Because we got to do... Amber Lynn Reed's live stream was... Uh, what my notes say? More of the same. But we're going we're gonna to have a poll mint. Subiyuma says, uh, member for one month, says the chat is so green again. Love that for us. It's an eco chat. Valentine, thank you for gifting five members. Oh my gosh, you guys. I know, they're so generous, Rio. I know, they're really nice people. You should see the things they do in Discord. I know, it's, it's mind-blowing. I know. She thinks the Discord is a terrible place. It's not. I know. And when they're members, they all become in the Discord. It's like a snowball. This community just gets bigger and, and better all the time. Right? It does. Okay, so I'm going to ask you if you want to watch her live stream. Do we want to react to this... <sighs> live stream. I hope the Pullmans are working properly today. They weren't working for us so well the other time. Okay, thank you, Rio. Oh, I think it's working tonight. Excellent. Excellent. Could you meow right into the microphone? Baby Rhee? Right in the way. Freddie Mercury, thank you for the super chat. Freddie says, let's see if Ursula the Sea Witch is indeed a mean girl. I mean, we can do both, but let's just see which one we want to watch first. I mean, yeah, so it's a resounding here. I'm seeing a resounding yes. Alrighty. Gluttons for punishment that you are, then that's what we're going to do. We're going to watch the new live stream. Okay, let's stop sharing my entire monitor. Give me uno momento, por favor. Desk Potato says, have you seen it at all? Yes, we streamed it in Discord. Uh, as soon as we found out she was going live. Because we can't do that on YouTube. It's probably not legal. I'm sure I'd get a strike. But taint no rules on the Discord. Oopsie. Oopsie. Okay. 
Ella says, the stream was so uneventful. It's been an hour and I don't remember anything. Ella, that's how I am every time we raid stream in Discord, to be fair. No, I remember some stuff. Not a lot. Stop. All right. It seems to me she's got, without destiny, she's got nothing to say on a live stream. She literally kind of said what she wanted to say in response to destiny. And then, um, you know, the first live stream, she alluded to having some horrible thing to say that, about destiny, but she would never say it because, you know, she's so much better than that. Well, she said it in this live stream, and I think it's the dog story. I think that's the worst dirt she's got on Destiny. Biscuit says, for the new people, Javi's name is pronounced Javi. It's Javi. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's Javi. It's definitely Javi. We, we joke. You know, we joke. We laugh. We kid. Yowie. It's Yowie. It's just, they're just the cutest capybara ever, you know. Jawy. <laughs> Hajavi. <laughs> You've got many pronunciations now. Yeah, apparently she's going to have a new schedule. Can I be your kid? No. Why would I? I don't want kid. Uh, Miss Tomato Jam says, job, job tonight. I was actually thinking that. <laughs> I am still a little bit sick, but I maybe it's a job, 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 job. I know Eastern, uh, Eastern, what the hell's wrong with me? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, Amber, we're twinsies. I don't know geography either. Eastern Union, uh, European Union, I'm sorry. I think we're going to do a late job job. No, you don't want to be my kid. I'd leave you at the bus station. <laughs> I'd forget you were there. I'd leave you on the subway for sure. <laughs> so Amber's live stream was called... Um, Destiny stays lying. Thule McSnoot Hole. <laughs> Thank you for this. <laughs> That's funny. Been working too hard, so I can't stay, but I love you all. Okay. You have the username of the night. That just literally cracked me up. <laughs> That's, like I'm crying from laughing because I'm trying hard not to just lose it. Look, I have the fancy Kleenex. <laughs> you know, I'm fancy. I don't have a container labeled Kleenex written in Ray Dunn font with, you know, name brand Kleenex. I just have a roll of toilet paper to blow my nose. I'll be fine. Amber, tonight, uh, I think we should just share the screen. I don't know if there's any need to, um, rain. Thank you. My gosh, for the generous super sticker says you're amazing. No, you are shut up. And of course, Michael Williams, in case you forgot, Michael Williams does like men. He likes to remind us you're all nuts. Where were we all nuts last night? Oh, last night was so nuts, you guys. Last night in the Discord, we just sat in the... We just watched YouTube stuff and, like, YouTube and chill. <laughs> the chat was so stupid. I was laughing out loud. It was so much fun. All right, let's go. Amberlynn, we're so much more fun than she is, really. I know, we were on fire last night. <laughs> And there was a lot of people. It was fun. Okay, let's watch. Stop. Rain, thank you. Rain is a brand new member. Rain is now alert. Rain, thank you so much. 
get in the Discord, Rain. I, I can tell your your trouble and the kind of trouble we like, like art. <laughs> Hello. Oh my god, I still have. You guys just witnessed me pulling a hair out of my face. Here, do you want this bigger? So now, if that isn't content, I don't know what is. The chat's boring. So to be I have honest. a bunch of like windows on this side of me, so my face automatically looks lighter on this side and darker on this side. So I just want to get that out because that. By the way, guys, uh, lighting makes your makeup crooked. So be very careful when you're applying your your makeup that you understand what kind of lighting you're going to be in later because it's going to make it look crooked. Is she too big? Is she? Too, the chat is boring, and she's too loud. Well, that's unusual. We can change that. We can change this. How about this? There's one that's. What's this one? I've got all these different layouts I've been playing with. That's good, and we can do this, right? How's that? Do we like that? That's. If it's still too loud, let me know was happening in one of my live streams and people were like oh my god her makeup's uneven and all this stuff it's just it's even so, it's even why do you have to duck lip at that did she did i miss a little ducky lippy that was happening in one of my live streams and people were like oh my god her makeup's uneven and all this stuff it's just it's even see it's even she can't not purse her lips hi, like that hi hello so funny hello. How y'all doing? <laughs> I say that every time now. I think I'm like doctor now. Um, You're not. You're not like doctor now. Now it's too quiet. Okay, we can change that. I went way down. I, I, over, I overcompensated. It's no problem. How's that? Okay, so I have questions and things I want to talk about. Um, I did post on my Instagram. Oh, good, good one. Good, good, good. Thank you for the super chat. Okay, definitely a pigeon. Says, seriously, another mesh and satin prom dress. It's true. It's that. But have we not seen this one before with the red? <laughs> Pom says, how do you deal with us? It's too loud. It's too quiet. Merk, it's too loud. It's too big. It's too small. I know. Sorry, I'm eating a Halls now because I'm sick. Karina, thank you very much for the super chat. Karina said, eyebrows said. <laughs> My goodness, you guys, tonight. Hoo-ha. <laughs> Hoo-ha, Joe Puka. How's that? Hoo-ha, Joe Puka says... Your voice soothes my nerves. Never stop, Narc. <laughs> okay. Graham, send me questions. If there's any questions you want me to answer on live stream, because I know there's a lot of people who don't want to talk in the chat. Not recall this tonight's call. So, yeah. Um, let's do this then. Let's do that. Well, then do it. So the first thing I want to clarify. I How long have you been like on? On my phone over here okay okay not that long it just feels uh, like forever it looks nice on you thank you it's actually yeah. a dress yeah we know um, i it. loves it <laughs> i want to see that it really is like a prom dress isn't it talk it's in got the like chat, a full satin I understand so thing here yeah um let's do this then Sorry, I went back too far. So the first thing I want to clarify, I have this all like... Show my cocaine. It's Halls. Um, the color shirt looks <laughs> nice on you. Thank you. It's Let's actually see? a dress. Um, I loves it. <laughs> um, cow goes moo. I believe in you. Thank you. And I'm going to... Can you imagine sitting around all day in one of those... In a fancy satin dress like that? I'm not going to say this, but, you know, I'm going to let you read it. <laughs> In case you missed it. Javi's now over on the channel, of course, cruising through all of Snowflake's shorts. 
going to do so much better with trying to pay attention to super chats, answer them. Oops. Unless it's something that where I have boundaries up and I don't want to speak about something. Um, but I am going to try my hardest to answer every single one for you guys because um, you guys have been telling me that I'm flopping on that. So we're going to get a little bit better with that. Um, yeah. Red is color. Red is the color of yours. Thank you. People tend to say that. And But I have an old phone that I plugged in last night. And I was like, I need to go back and look at text because I swear I'm not crazy. Um, yeah. So Destiny's lying about that. Um, so yeah. We were Destiny very close lives. during that time. So a lot. I'm going to take my screen, myself off screen for just a minute and let her talk while I blow my nose. And I'll be right back. <laughs> Streaming with a cold is fun. It's fun, you guys. Another thing is she said that. In her original video, she said that she was trying to hook up with the girl that she was hanging out with um, at work the, when I was, like, scared that she was, like, emotionally cheating on me. Like, I knew she was. So that's why I wanted her to contact me during lunch. It was just, like, this anxiety, like, slash, I don't trust her, slash, you know. Um, she was trying to hook up with that girl that night that she broke up with me and the next day which she admits in the video, but Weird then those. in her last live stream, she said that didn't happen. <sighs> Again, another lie. Um, so she's lying a lot. She is, uh, it's just, you know, I often, you know, I, we often, I often, we often say Amberlynn is responsible for her own community. She cultivated that. Look at what I've done. <laughs> Look what I've done. This is terrible. Shameful, really. Um, Tons of inconsistencies, and it's. I need to call her out because it's not okay. Um, I also want to talk about like people justifying Destiny's jokes. Um, a lot of people are saying like, you know, in awkward situations, like nervous laughter. Like I'm all for that. I'm all for like nervous laughter. Yeah, because you've um, used that excuse yourself. I'm there for it because I am that. Um, I definitely laugh at inappropriate times because of nervousness. <laughs> I am the same way. Um, I will be talking about something that absolutely hurts me and I'll laugh. The mind. Remember last time we streamed together? Remember last time we met? <laughs> and she said how she didn't like Twitter. And then we rolled it back and we counted and she has to say things. She had to say it five times. She just did the same thing. How many times does she restate her original statement? Like she, I don't know what it is. Is it insecurity that people don't believe you? So you have to state and restate and restate. I'm going to look that up. There's got to be a reason why people do that, right? It, let's watch. I forget now. I'm so fuzzy, you guys, uh, that this cold, but. I'm all for like nervous laughter. Okay, this is like, it. Nervous laughter. Nervous laughter. Okay, let's see how many times she justified that. You like, know what I mean? You know, in awkward situations, like nervous laughter. Wait, like, um, I'm all for that. I'm all for, like, nervous laughter, two, um, laughing off trauma. Three, I'm there for it because I am that. Four. Um, I definitely laugh at inappropriate times. Five. Because of nervousness. <laughs> I am the same way. Seven. Um, I will be talking about something that absolutely hurts me, and I'll laugh. Eight. The mind and body does crazy things, but nine -ish. people are justifying even eight. Destiny Let's say eight. laughing that I smell destiny saying that I'm a sumo wrestler. So she had to destiny to destiny say she was a sumo wrestler. I mean, that's not nice, but I'm sorry. Exes say shitty things at home. Oh, geez. Amber, did your ex girlfriend say something shitty about you? Well, Welcome to having an ex. You know, they they tend to do that. Um, also, I don't know. No, I'm, I mean, I'm not going to justify. There's no way we can back. I, I, there's no way that I'm going to sit on here and say that she was, that was okay to say that. That's just rude. We know that's just rude. For sure. But maybe... You don't get to gatekeep 
how Becky gets to deal with this. And maybe, even though that's not great for you, that's really helping her work through some shit on her own. Maybe. Maybe you don't get to control how Destiny deals with that stuff. Just a thought. Um, just flat out making fun of me. There's a difference between laughing at Did I say Becky when I meant Destiny? I might have. making fun of somebody. And these people who are justifying, it's not okay. Um, again, it just shows where people's hearts are at. Um, I am here to I don't know. You don't know where my heart out is. on her bullshit because I'm tired of it. And I'm not here to make fun of her in any way, um, to laugh at her in any way. Or anything. Not now, but you used to. And you made a lot of money doing it, too. Remember dangling the camera over the shower while she was showering? That was fun, right? Thing like that. I'm honestly so beyond tired of seeing you <laughs> Stanley. Over this time you have run out of second chances. Thank you for the super chat, and I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry for being human, I guess. Um, <laughs> Uncle Grandpa. All right, so we have clar <laughs> clarified those things. Let's see what's next. <laughs> <laughs> I still have a little bit of pneumonia, so if you don't you hear me out of breath. You do not. You, I don't, oh, wait, I'll get in trouble for saying I don't. Okay. In my opinion, I highly doubt your self-diagnosis of pneumonia. You were blowing up balloons three weeks ago, blowing up balloons with no issues at all. And what you just did there was cough. Like, it sounded like a cold. Like, I think I sound sicker than you. What the hell, man? Uh, so now he's going to the other spot. Breath and stuff. Just saying. <clears throat> Someone said she obviously didn't think you stink that much. She was always kissing on you. Oh, she was obsessed with me. Um, you're a skinny legend. Enjoy your weekend. Thank was she though? Was she? I don't know. Do you think Destiny was obsessed with, with Amber? At the end, I, I, didn't, I didn't get that feeling, but everybody's obsessed with Amber, right? Her cats are obsessed with her, Fleen's obsessed with her, probably the Uber Eats drivers are obsessed with her. Thank you. Enjoy your weekend, and I know you be joking. <laughs> um, but yeah, Destiny was obsessed with me. Um, we don't even need to go there. We don't need. Can I say that Rosie, Rosie 29, welcome to becoming completely and totally alert. Can I say, um, I want to make her big for a second. No, I'm bored. I'll do it in a video. This is too much work. I'll do it in a video, but I'll tell you something. When we were watching this today, when she was reading out the good comments, not here, but go down that. <clears throat> later on, she would read a good comment out loud and I would screen, scroll through to try and find it and I can't find a lot of the good comments that she's reading out loud. Some of them, yeah, some of them are super chats. But some of them, I don't know how she can read a chat that fast and only pick out the positive comments when it's 99 to 1 negative. It seems really weird to me, almost as if Fleen wrote them down on a piece of paper for her to read. At, uh, down that lane there. But... That one was a super chat, Valentine? Um... So Some of them were. Asking, did I call or text Destiny during the Pookie Walmart incident? There was also some chat that, um, what's this user? That there's, there's a user that people were saying was death, that was fleeing, but uh, we're pretty sure it was a troll. Seems like a troll because they sent a proposal, like a wedding ring soon super chat. And we don't think that that was real. The other thing I noticed is she wasn't reading that person's super chats out loud. Handle of something, Karina, thank you, yeah. It is a troll, for sure. She wasn't even reading their super chats out loud. If Fleen sent her a wedding, an engagement ring super chat, she would have giggled or something. And yes, I did. I texted her and I told her exactly where I was. I said I was sitting by the entrance. I was either in Burger King or Subway. I can't remember, but it's like, you know how some um, Walmarts have like that food. 
like in there like you saw the fucking mcdonald's all all i know but it was like a fast food area that i was sitting and i called her over and over i made sure to text her um but she wasn't answering me so yeah i just feel like that whole situation is a big red flag on destiny and um for people to like invalidate that like you can't control when someone gets their feelings hurt and me you can't control how somebody heals from it either walking away to like take a breather is very healthy that is what i'm learning to do in therapy and you can do that in public it doesn't just have to be while you're in your own home what are you talking if something about happens what the frig is she even talking about i don't even oh my gosh this is so stupid <laughs> Where you're like, okay, I just need to take a breather. Be allowed to do that. I want to feel validated in that. But so many people are missing the fact that like Destiny left me at a store in the middle of the night. I didn't drive. Um, I didn't know much about Ubers back then. I don't even think I knew what an Uber was. Try being in a small jungle town <laughs> in Central America all alone where you don't speak the language and oops, all the banks are closed and you got to get to the airport in 12 hours. Then tell me about what it's like to get yourself out of a jam. You were in a bloody Walmart, like an, a, a mile away from your home. There are buses and taxi cabs, Amber. Jesus. There was back then. So it's like, yeah. Rosie Rose, thank you for the super chat. Rosie says, the legal definition of assault is apprehension of imminent harmful contact, not being scared. I'm a second year law student. I've been mad about that. Were you the one that said that in my comment section? I don't think it was your name. I think it was somebody else. I think all the law students are upset about that. Um, big red flag on her end. I feel like most of the stuff that she's calling T is just like her exposing herself. That's what it feels like at this point. <clears throat> I didn't think I'd catch one of you. <coughs> love, love this and love you. Thank you, Christy. Exactly, Kaboki. That. Um, yes, thermostat. Stain. It was at night. Um, okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is people making fun of abuse. So a really good example of this. I just feel like I need... Who made fun of abuse? Who ever made fun of abuse? Did you see anybody in the amberverse community and goral world on any video any reaction channel any comment anywhere that decided to make fun of abuse waiting waiting she, no amber stop making stuff up you need to be a voice of reason here i understand that i'm amberlyn reed the forever villain of this freaking community, whatever. But I, I maintain once again, you're not clever enough. You're not intelligent enough to be a villain. I don't like this referring to herself as a villain. You're not that important. Impo uh, you're not that important uh, to be a villain. You're just an annoying mean girl. You're not a villain. You're just a mean person. I just need to be the voice of reason. You're not um, the voice of reason ever. Hold on a second. We have a super chat. Hi from Ireland. What age is Twinkie? She's darling. Thank you so much for the super chat. And Twinkie is going to be 11 in July. Okay. So people are making fun of abuse. Um, we're going to Nobody's use making the fun of abuse. Mountain Code Red situation as an example. So I have said over and over that that did not happen. That is not how the events played out. And I will stand by that and I will forever stand by that because I, A, I don't get physical with people. I'm not going to throw things at somebody. I am not going to. She's. You know, I, I don't like to get into the, the minutia of the details of the lies. I tend to do that on a daily basis with my narc because you, you never get to, they don't get the big picture. They don't see the point. They got to dig down and make you wrong about all the tiniest points. Like, you know, like if I said it was two miles and it was only 1.7 miles, that would be the issue, not the rest of the story, for instance. So I think that's what she's doing here too. 
And like what she's trying to do with uh, Mr. Snowflake, she's doing with Destiny, classic narcissist thing to do is to uh, try and refute the argument against you by um, diminishing the reputation of the person that's coming at you. So you don't have to really discuss the issue. You can just talk about what a shit person they are. And then why would anybody believe them they're a shit person? So then you don't even have to really conquer the, the issue, right? Uh, threat and self-harm. I have never done that, and I won't do that. So I want to make that very, very... Oh, Ella, good point. Uh, Flower Power Brian, thank you so much for the super... Ella said she literally titled a video, My Girlfriend Wants to Hurt Me in 2020. She's making fun of abuse. I remember that. It was Becky. I mean, it was a joke because it was clickbait. But yeah, she makes fun of abuse. I, I've never made fun of abuse. I usually skip over the abuse part of these live streams because I don't want my community to have to deal with that. <coughs> and Amber's the one that keeps bringing it up and shoving it down everybody's throats. Cat, it's greatly appreciated. Um, but I do want to say, Cat let's Lush imagine that for too. three seconds that all of that, what Destiny did say, is true. Um, no one cares. Move on already. Just Jamie. Thank you for the super chat. I care. Just Jamie. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Can we listen to that again? That was our moderator. Just Jamie. By the way, tomorrow is Jamie's birthday. Tomorrow is our moderator. Just Jamie's birthday. Let's take the big lass off the screen for just a second. Because we got all the segue going now. We got all the segue going. Tomorrow's Jamie's birthday, you guys. So you know what we're going to do? Jamie has requested, because she's cool AF, that we watch Pulp Fiction. So tomorrow night, I'm sorry for the couple of people that watch Fantasy Island with me. We'll have to do that another night this week, because tomorrow we'd be watching Pulp Fiction. It's Pulp Fiction night, because it's Jamie's birthday, all right? Be there or be L7, baby. Also, Jamie rents most of the alerts in the chat at this point. And uh, so here's the girl. It's also Elissimo's birthday, I think, tomorrow. Elissimo is not a mod, but it is a valuable alert in the community, all over the Discord, all over the pet thread. We love having Alyssa around. <laughs> not the band L7, like a square. That's what L7 means. Get it? So, yeah. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. And then, of course, now we can listen because Jamie decided to have a little chit chat with Amber <laughs> yesterday during the live stream. Um, no one cares. Move on already. Just Jamie. Thank you for the super chat. I care. So I had somebody on my, um, the father's day video, the father video I made about Amber Lynn Reed. I had somebody leave a really lovely comment. They said, um, nobody gives a fuck about your heart attack. Let it go. <laughs> that was held in the, in my back end YouTube studio held for possibility of being offensive. So I released that, <laughs> and it's there under my Father's Day video. You know, just putting that out there. Um, just imagine that. I don't like people to be assholes in the quiet and in the dark and in the shadows. If you're going to be a rude fuck, I would like, every, you know, let's share that with everybody. Have a big set of balls and let everybody see it, right? That did happen. There is a reaction channel, Jordy. Hello. Um, I know you're watching because you are also obsessed and that's how you make your money. Um, She's so fucking smug right now. It's the money. Shut up. How do you make it with, how do you make your money, Amber? How do you make your money? Although I will say this Jordy thing, it's, it's troublesome. <coughs> Hang on. I got to mute again for one little minute, second. I don't necessarily agree with, with, with what Jordy said here. And I think he gives, because what happens is if, if, if one of the reaction channels screws up really badly, it gives her a lot of, um, yeah, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm sick. It gives her a lot of, um, 
uh, ammunition, for lack of a better word, to to paint us all with the same brush. And I I I don't speculate on things. I really don't. I, you know, I might question, but I never say validation is a good word. I don't like to make stuff up and speculate. I don't like to be too, con you know, like Mr. Snowflake. I just like to present things that she's already said. You know, maybe frame it in a way that we didn't see it a way differently. But, you know, you know what I'm saying. Um, shut up. So, Merc, shut up. Him making a parody out of abuse is disgusting. So it didn't happen. But in Destiny's brain, Destiny's mind, whatever it may be, just imagine for three seconds that it did. And just imagine for three seconds if I was to make fun of someone else's, like, abuse story or whatever it may be. I am just finding this, I'm not going to say the full community, obviously, um, come to Denver. I've never been there. Maybe I should. <laughs> um, I was watching Zachary Michael today, and he was talking about her um, North Korea comment about how she said, when they said, why don't you go to North Korea? And she said, oh, yeah, I'd like to go to North Korea. And then she came backtracked and said, I didn't know. I'm not a geography girl. It's not my fault that I didn't know about all the news. Um. And Zach was kind of puzzled about why she was why why she would just say that without knowing anything about the place. And my gut feeling as a narc, she says that because in her mind, someone who travels like a jet setter is that's impressive to her. She wants to be that girl who jumps on a plane and flies to Bora Bora. That's who she'd like to be. So when people suggest travel to her, she's all like, Oh yeah, I'd go there. Oh yeah, I'd go there. I really think that's what's going on there. Sorry, complete sidetrack from what Jordy thing. Thank you for the super chat, by the way. Um, what I'm just trying to say, um, long story short, is it's just a lot of hypocritical nonsense that's happening lately. And I know, Uncle Grandpa. Just like, almost like justifying, um, I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say. Like, I just feel like people are trying really hard to stay on destiny side because they're a amberlynn reed reaction channel and it's making people look really bad like i two things can exist in a plane you know two things can exist at once i don't necessarily really uh, you know i wouldn't hang around with destiny but uh, has she done some horrible things yeah that from what we know yeah, sure that doesn't discredit everything that she has to say. Human beings, Amberlynn, are not black and white. We're, we're like onions. We're, we have many, many, many layers. You know, sometimes you're peeling the onion and, oh, that looks good, that looks good. That, oh, look, one layer is all brown. And you take that layer out, oh, all the rest are good layers, all good layers. Many different layers in our onion, Amberlynn. I've had so many people contact me. That's like, a food reference. That should help saying, you, like, right? Jordy, I cannot believe Jordy's doing this. I've been in an abusive relationship, et cetera, et cetera. Like, it just doesn't look good. And it's like, when is there going to be, or where and how is there going to be a person that is going to, like, stand up for this stuff? Because I just feel like so many people are so afraid to, like, stand up to react. What are you doing every single day that you put on this camera? Is that not what you've been doing for the last eight years is standing up to all the bullying? Being the voice, being the beacon in the in the the being the light through the fog of uh, fat phobia bullying, action channels, and it's a lot. <laughs> like it's just a lot. Um, next thing, Rain. Holy cow! Okay, so my cameo. Rain just gifted twenty members. Rain. Holy mackerel! It's raining narc alerts in here tonight. It's raining alerts. Job job's gonna be unhinged tonight. We're gonna have to turn our mics off. <laughs> no, I do have a cameo, and I've been having to. Thank you, Rain. That is insanely, insanely generous tonight. You guys are blowing me away tonight. Rebook. Um, I should get sick lot. more so often. If I go to a cameo, <laughs> um, there is an option to rebook it. Always rebook it if I don't do it. Um, I've had some people contact me saying like, "Are you gonna do mine?" I had to rebook it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I just want to say. Um, that I will do it. It's just I've been getting so many. Yeah, I've no, been getting I... a lot, so I haven't gotten around to do it. Do you really think she's getting a lot of cameos? 50 bucks a piece. 
It's unbelievable. You know, she goes to her post office box and there's a note on the window of the post office because her box is overflowing with presents and good wishes from all of her fans and, and all of the people who love her. And, and now this. She's got so many cameo requests at $50 a piece. Mm, 50 US dollars, it's 68 Canadian to get Amberlynn to do a, a cameo. And you know, uh, nah, like not even for a joke, it's not worth putting that money in her pocket. Not even for a joke. I'd rather pay Annie Lynn to do a cameo as Amberlynn Reed. That's what you should do. Do <laughs> every single one of them. Um, but I will get around to it. So I just wanted to mention that. She'll get around to it. She's okay. Busy. Another thing is if you guys remember um Didn't where you do fabulous. Me up and there was something I said. Um, I actually used to have an online journal, um, which I went and found. Oh my god, this online journal went all the way back to when I lived in Okay. I didn't catch this the first time around. She actually has an old online journal that she just coincidentally right now went and found. Uh, do you think she's terrified that Mr. Snowflake is going to find some other old social media platforms where she was on? Um, that sure sounds like coincidental timing to me. This girl's trying to scrub all the old shit so Mr. Snowflake doesn't find it. For sure. We should tell him. Is, is Live Journal still there? There's always a. She probably doesn't even know about the Wayback Machine. In Virginia. So it was crazy to see. Um, it's actually a private online journal. So it's not like public. No one can go find it or anything. It's something that I used to write in a lot. And uh, me and my. <laughs> no one. Quotations. Mr. Snowflake. Can't go find it. <laughs> from Virginia, we would actually um, write on there together. But I also would write on that when I was with uh, Destiny. I actually stopped while I was with Becky. So um, I wrote about the whole situation with Destiny's mom when she beat me up. And I remember telling you guys a story about how I don't remember what I said that made Destiny's mom like attack me. And in that journal entry, I actually put what I said. What did you say? I actually put what I said. What did I you say? I told her that I hated her because of everything that she, you know, put me through. Oh my God, it was so weird. Also, while I was going through this phone, I had a lot of messages. Um, I think she said more than that. Maybe she didn't. Again, that situation is so messy. That is a messy ass situation. I don't want to get into that stuff. You know, Becky's mom had some problems, some substance abuse problems, which probably led to some rage issues. And Amberlynn would be the biggest damn trigger of all sitting in your kitchen. Uh, the biggest, yes, I said big trigger sitting at your kitchen table. I get it. That's a messy ass situation. But here she is once again for the third live stream in a row going back to try and dig up shit about this poor dead woman. Like, please just leave Mendy alone. Oh, I gotta make that leave Becky alone short. I keep forgetting. I gotta make that. I gotta write it down. Hang on. I gotta make a note here. Leave. I know it seems stupid, but I will forget. Leave Becky alone. Okay, I'm gonna put her... It's Mendy. It is Mendy, apparently. I know, odd, but that's what it is. I'm going to leave you for a millisecond while I change the Rio cam, because we need the boy, and he's settled. And he looks good. He's got some color coordination. There's an aesthetic going on. It was just, like, really triggering, because I don't want to air anything about, like, Dana or whatever, but Dana is, like, a kind of a good, I'm going to use Destiny's word, witness to, like, what I went through with um destiny's mom because dana kind of went through the same thing in a way but not it never got like physical but going through those messages was like really hard i will say that but yes um i did say that i hated her because she was literally throwing all my perfume down the stairs at me and that is when things got physical 
Um, so if you guys want to go back and watch that live stream where I talked about the whole story, I don't feel like redoing it right now. Um, you can go back and watch that and then add that little missing piece because we finally fucking figured out what that missing piece was. And I honestly could not believe it because I was sitting here and I was like going through all these messages and I was like, cause this is the phone that I had back then. And I was like, did I look, he did it again. Oops. He did it again. Such an ass. Rio. Did I tell someone about this? Like, and then I just kept thinking hard and hard and hard. Like, did I keep a physical journal there? Like, what? I had to have proof somewhere. And then I was like, oh my God, that freaking journal online. So I'm glad that I found that. Um, okay. Such a narc. What they I, always have to have um, proof. They have to back oh yeah, up. They have other people that I felt the same way. It's always, ugh. Dana and Destiny screenshots. It's I know. It's a personal conversation. Um, Dana gave me the permission to say that Destiny was still messaging her. But it's like their conversation was personal. So I didn't want, um, what? Okay. Sorry. I just read a message that made no sense. So I don't want to share like people's like personal stuff. All right. So stop so talking. Now I think um, we are about to get into questions that I received on Instagram. Oh, and one last thing is people are saying that Destiny and I planned this. Definitely not. Definitely not. Um, Spoonie Nerd says claims to have proof never shows any of it. No, she just pulls out a phone and taps on it. Look, I have this old phone. I found all this stuff on it. Umbral Coffee Lady says, I clicked when I saw Rio. <laughs> Stayed for your commentary and personality. I love your content, Merc, and your attitude. Thank you for posting videos and streams. A really, really, really nice thing to say. Rio, did you hear that? Stop licking and listening. That's nice, right? Is that nice? Say thank you. Say thank you, please. He's just not cooperating tonight. That's a very kind thing to say. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to take a break and I'm going to answer some of y'all's questions and then I'm going to get to the Instagram questions. So I noticed that my live streams have been like super long and today I'm actually busy. So that's why I don't want to make this like super long. Uh, you know, it's Saturday. She's very busy. This was an early afternoon stream. Uh, I guess a late, late afternoon stream. Sorry. Um, you know, the girls, they had to go out. They've got some reservations. They're going to do a little fine dining. Afterwards, maybe go to a jazz club, have a few uh, beverages, uh, maybe go to a dance club later. You know, they're in their 30s, so they're not necessarily going to go out hardcore. You know, maybe after last call, you might want to grab a falafel because that's great drunk food, right? Can you see Amber at a jazz club? No, somebody said bowling. That's more Amber, right? Um so Twinkie's nails. I am not perfect by no means, but Twinkie does get her nails cut by our vet. Here we start a bunch of animal stories. Now, the reason for these animal stories, in my opinion, in my opinion, this is an opinion. Don't silence me. This is my opinion. I'm allowed to have an opinion, so it's okay. I'm not a man, so I can have an opinion. Um, I think she saw Snowflake's post about upcoming uh, animal videos, and she's trying to uh, do a little pre-damage control before the videos drop. I, I firmly believe. Moondance says, in Ireland, drunk food is kebabs and pizza. We were all falafel and uh, euros, usually. Also, um, a short period of time, it was uh, we, we used to go to the Chinese restaurant down the street from here because they would serve cold tea, which is beer in teapots until like dawn. So after the booze can, after the bar, we'd go to the booze can, after the booze can, we'd go to the Chinese restaurant. And there we would have periwinkles in black bean sauce every time. Best drunk food ever. Every two months. Um, so that's the vet said for small dogs that that's a good time frame. So, I'm just going based off of the vet because it's actually a really good vet. Love this vet so much. It's not me. It's the vet, you guys. Um, so it's the vet. So, yeah. If the vet um, said it, if you don't believe me, then you don't believe the vet. Your shoes. I am short. 
but I like to get tall pants because I do have lymphedema. And it's what are tall pants? <laughs> Is that the size? Like petite and tall, I guess. I guess there are tall, but you have to really Fact phobic. That is a great username. Fact phobic says, I'm not perfect by no means is really saying I am perfect. Heck yeah, she saw the Mr. Snowflake post and true to form, she's trying to rewrite the narrative and make herself seem perfect. Perfect? Tall pants. Tall pants. Why don't you just buy proper size? I'm short too. Oh, because she's got to buy them big enough. And she says she cuts them. She doesn't cut them. They're all draggy, draggy. It's like there isn't a happy medium. My pants are either too short because of my lymphedema, lymphedema, um, and lipedema, or they're too long because I get the uh, long pair. So I yeah, okay, to I get them. it. That makes sense. But you don't cut them. Girl, witness is not a bigger, complicated word. No, it's not. Um, we where did I live in early. Virginia, Fredericksburg? It's just another word did for I take weed, my right? Today. Yes, I have been perfect with my medicine um perfect I am just beyond proud of myself it's been a couple months now and it's helping the obsession with the can you stop please you're driving me a little crazy right now uh the obsession with the word perfect is is it just i don't know why I, i'm so amused by it karina says longer inseam more room for the ambussy Oh, that's a good pause screen, isn't it? Her obsession with the word perfect just is, amuses the heck out of me. So much. Like, my anxiety... I don't think my anxiety has been this good and easily, like, since I was a teenager. Like, I am absolutely shocked. Um, Your anxiety is good? Or you don't have much anxiety? I do like Harry Styles. Yes, yes. Okay. So, I know. He's, let's I get know. into um, I know, questions baby. from Instagram. It won't be long. Much did longer. Destiny ever break up with you before the official breakup? Yes, she did. So Anxiety. She me, um, as you guys remember, like the official breakup was January. She actually broke up with me a couple months before that in November. January 13th. Coincidentally, Friday the 13th. In case you didn't remember. Please, Bo. Um... The breakup lasted maybe 24 hours. Um, it was so random because, like, everything was totally fine. And then all of a sudden, like, she just broke up with me. And this was actually, um, I think I had quit work by then. I don't remember when I quit work. Ironically I enough, I was <laughs> at home. And I was just, like, devastated because she ended up going to work and I just felt, like, lost. Like, I lost my favorite person. I lost my best friend. What am I going to do with my life? Well, she ended up coming home late. And I was so confused. And I was like, oh, my God, where is she? Like, I was worried. I was like, oh, my God. Like, is she going to come home? She came home with a balloon, an iPod, flowers, and a card. And she wanted me back again. So it's like now that I am thinking back about this, she broke up with me after Dana stopped talking to her. And it's like, now that like, I'm, everything is so like out in the open and I'm seeing things more like crystal clear and I'm like putting all the pieces together. I feel like destiny, cause she was emotionally cheating on me, as you guys know, I, I truly feel like she, it kind of felt like, I'm kind of glad she did this because I'm able to like heal my own type of way. Like, talk oh my God, she just feels so fun. She feels so justified right now. I'm kind of glad she did this because it really makes me look good because now it proves that everything i always said was always right i'm so good <laughs> amber christ oh my god emmy yes emmy says narcs are super fixated on dates it was friday the 13th or it was on my birthday or our anniversary or mother's day lol like it's always the wrong time to break up well yeah anything that can pad something to make it more dramatic more impactful you know it wasn't just a breakup it was a breakup and it was on friday the 13th you guys ironically enough my god she's so look how excited she is about this 
She just feels oh, so. Like, I'm kind of glad she did this because I'm able to like heal my own type of way, like talking about this. Okay, but so but she doesn't get to heal her own type of way. Only you get to dictate how destiny gets to heal. Okay, all so, right, girl. Sounds fair. Destiny. Um, it feels to me now that all the pieces are coming together that agreed, um, Thornback. I'm so happy you found true love. Thank you, Justice. That destiny was so hurt by Dana not talking to her that she broke up with me because everything was fine in our relationship. Like she could sit here and say all this stuff, whatever it may be, but everything was fine in our relationship. Like we were happy. Of course there were things, not every relationship is perfect or anything like that, but like the big, I'm willing to bet just given my 40 thousand years experience having a narcissist in my life although not a partner i am willing to bet that becky i mean destiny sorry freudian freudian slip i'm willing to bet that destiny was one whole hell of a lot unhappier in that relationship that amber ever perceived because people who show traits that are similar to traits that fall within the spectrum of narcissistic personality disorder, traits that are similar to traits, um, you know, they tend to do that. <laughs> Big problems started when she started talking to Dana. And then when Dana started talking to her, she was like, I'm going to break up with Amber Lynn so, she can, so I can be with Dana. But Dana, I think, that's why every single breakup completely takes her from left field. Oh my God, it was completely out of left field. She had no idea. Because they have no, you know, the queen of empathy there, I'm sorry, doesn't really understand how her partner is feeling in the relationship as far as I'm concerned, in my opinion, don't silence me. Aquatic Beef, thank you for the super chat. She says, this is her Super Bowl. She's so cringe. I know, look at her face right now. Look how excited she is. She's almost drooling. Got a hey, Bob, we're just being extra careful. Me, like, <laughs> Destiny. We're making a snippy gross. snappy point. <laughs> um, someone, actually, quite a few people were asking, when did you start only? When did you start only eating the skin on the nuggets? Like, this was like quite a few people asked that. Nobody asked that. Um, what's one of the worst things Destiny ever did? Here we go. Um, here's the dog story. So one thing comes to my brain. And I don't even know if I want to share it, to be honest, because it is. I don't know if I want to share it. You wanted to share it two videos ago. You wanted to share it a video ago. You probably have it written down in your little quotes notes that you've got there now. Oh, you definitely want to share this story. You've been dying to drop this one. This is your, Amber thinks this is her atomic bomb. She thinks this is, this is it. Okay. People are going to turn on that bitch when I tell them what she did to a dog. Like, it does have to do with, like, her and, like, the way that she views uh, the world and how to treat animals and whatever. Um, but she had a dog. She's named so shady. Cash, who I actually would babysit um, when he was a puppy. And... I guess Cash you, wasn't Ella. trained very well. Um, this was, by the way, when um, her and Dana were together. So this dog was not mine. Um, so I would babysit Cash. So I grew to love Cash, obviously. But I guess... Before... What? Did she just say what? Am I hearing that wrong? Um, this was, by the way, when um, her and Dana were together. So this dog was not mine. This was when her and Dana were together? And she used to babysit this dog? And we never saw this dog on video? So after... Her... So when Destiny was with Dana, they had this little dog that Amberlynn Reed babysat for all the time? And she never showed this dog on video not even once? Guys, am I... Am I hearing that wrong? Am I missing something? She said that, right? She must have made a mistake. She must have said the wrong word, right? <laughs> Very well. Um, this was, by the way, when um, her and Dana were together. So this dog was not mine. 
Um, so I would babysit cash. So I grew to love cash, obviously, but I guess, um, cash ended up biting like a little girl and some of you guys are going to be very triggered by this story. If you want to mute, I will give you a big wave when the, when the bad part is done. Okay. So if you want to mute, you can mute. I'll wave at you when it's clear to come back. Okay. Mute now. <laughs> we'll catch you on the other. We'll catch you on the other side. Destiny. This is when Destiny and I were friends and she was like talking to me about it. And she was like, I'm going to have someone put down cash. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like I, I literally have the text messages in this phone, literally have them. And I was like, no, don't like literally get your dog trained, like train your dog. Like dogs can change. Like your dog is still young. Um, and so long story short, she, oh my God, I was so mad. I didn't talk to her for a little bit. Um, and it's like, I didn't know the address because she was, this is when they were living with, I'm pretty sure they were living with someone else because they had to move. So I didn't know the address. Like, you know how bad I wanted to like call someone and be like, get that dog, like do something. Um, so it's like, yeah. And it's like, I don't believe in putting down animals unless like they're on their actual deathbed and they're like old like ancient like animals to me are like oh, better than people <laughs> most people let's be real you don't deserve um, animals so in. when destiny said that she was gonna get cash put down in my head i thought she meant like at a vet even then, I don't agree with that shit. But she meant that someone was actually going to, like, shoot the dog. That is the worst thing that Destiny's ever done. On period. So, I don't know where Cash is now. What does on period mean? That's the worst thing she's ever done. On period. Ew. We hear enough about your periods. We're used to. So... Hey, you guys, it's okay now. I think we're gonna, we're missed all the bad part. What we're going to, uh, I'm gonna get the real cam for one second, okay? You know, we're gonna play this follow the cat around the damn cam. Because we need Mr. Man here for this part just to help us feel better. So, basically she said, in a nutshell, and I'm not going to go into anything, don't worry, you guys are okay. Uh, Strange Candy, I agree. I tend to agree. And she was very careful about what she said here. She said... You are an ass. Why will you not let the camera be on you for one minute? Rio? Ass. We're going to play this game tonight, are we? She said that Destiny wanted to get rid of the dog. And her way of getting rid of the dog is the way that, you know, farmers do with lame animals. And, uh, and she now doesn't know what happened. So basically she said nothing. Honestly, it could have happened. Um, seems like there's a lot of holes in that story. I'd want to go back and see about all the time she mentioned Cash, this dog that she cared so deeply about that I don't even recall her mentioning it before. Someone said they saw the dog. We did see Cash, but it made an appearance on Becky's birthday. So that wouldn't be when she was living with... Well, I guess it could have been. We'll have to go and we'll look at that. Jamie, thank you for the super chat. Jamie says, why zero tears for this story? If it's so upsetting. Oh, because it's just to make Destiny look like shit. That's why. Because it's further discrediting. 
somebody who's coming at her. You know, like the way she called Mr. Snowflake disgusting. She doesn't have a lot to come at him with beyond that, except, you know, he is a man. Ew. Ew. He's a man. Now, I have no idea. I don't know if Cash is still alive, but that to me was a pivotal moment in our friendship where I was like, destiny is a piece of shit. And I don't know if you guys remember in my live stream, um, live stream era with uh, Becky, where I was saying how destiny is a piece of shit. That is what I was referring to, because to me, that has been like a really big thing in my brain about this person, because I absolutely disagree with that. I think that something happened there. I don't think this story is completely made up. But I don't think Destiny took the dog out back and shot it. I just don't. Of course, you're gonna move again. Rio. She's almost finished. Please, have patience. <laughs> you gotta be right in the middle of everything, don't you? He wants all you people that are having a hard time with this story to feel better, that's all. Right? Do you want to meow into the mic? Do you want to give them one right into the mic? Bumper? Don't rub. Just meow. Say something, Bobo. What? <laughs> he looks so cute, right? Say something. He's not. In every sort of way possible, and it someone said BBG shaking. You're still so funny. That's not funny. <laughs> um. So yeah. Um. That has to be, and that's even something that like I messaged. I messaged Destiny actually when she first started this drama between us. I said, "Are you going to tell them that your mom beat me up, and are you going to tell them that you tried to kill your dog?" I said that. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Because I'm not messing around. Like, if you want to expose me, what have you exposed? Like, truly. Like, everything that you have said about me, you have exposed yourself. Like, fully and wholeheartedly. Um, I, I just... I don't know. Honestly, you're both exposing a whole lot of nothing at this point. Destiny's stories are kind of, you know, Amber's comebacks are kind of, man. Next question. Zach admits reaction channels are biased and can acknowledge Cindy being oh, complex with mental illness as a person. Please, go sit there. But why won't he do that for you? I don't know. Um, he can answer that. <laughs> Spoonie, I, yeah, you know what? I thought, I heard that as very threatening too. I don't want to go all the way back because we it's about a minute away now, but I, I, that sounded threatening, right? I agree. That sounded threatening to me. And that person in the chat who was, oh, but that's a troll. Um, yeah. Next question. When are you going to go back to making videos? I actually am going to be starting a new YouTube schedule. Um, yeah, it's been like a hot minute, but I think it's time that we switch it up. I have been doing that every other day type situation type deal for so long that I think I'm just over it. So um, I will talk more about what I want that to look like, um, I guess, in a video. What other questions? What do we think? I think she's going to go twice a week. And she said it's going to be a combination of videos and live streams. I bet she's going to do one vlog and one live stream a week. Yeah, in other words, Jamie, right now she's got no idea. But I think that's what it's going to be. You just settle down over there, Mr. Man. Questions do we have here? Um, when you were harassed by your dad's friends as a teenager, did they ever touch you? So trigger warning. My whole freaking live stream should be considered that. Um, they would like touch my leg, um, like mess with mystifying abuse. Just we don't so need to watch that. Destiny side. <laughs> it's pathetic <laughs> truly um another question. justifying abuse you once said you could nobody in my community has justified abuse to stay on destiny's side 
It's just not like that. She's just so, she has no clue about nuance. Or like we were talking earlier about layers of an onion. It's all lost on her. To live a fulfilling life without leaving the apartment. Do you still feel that way? No, 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 no. Not at all. I said that during like a depressive episode because I noticed like when I am, obviously when I wasn't medicated and I was manic and then lows and then this and that because I'm bipolar, as you guys know. As you know. Um, <laughs> I Boy. would go, I would get very depressed and I'd be very low and I would not want to leave my home. Like at all. Like walk. You know, it's funny because I just, Jamie, I just read your comment. And I know I just said the same thing, but seeing it written down hit different, if I can quote our girl. It's kind of disgusting that she's even accusing our community of justifying abuse. That's a really horrible thing to say. Nobody in this community, half of this community, probably more than half of this community has suffered abuse of their own in some way. That's a kind of disgusting thing to say about us, really. And she just lets it fall out of her mouth. Like, see, that's the problem with the live streams is she doesn't think. Words just come out of her mouth that she thinks sound good in the moment. Felicia, thank you so much. Felicia Dunlap just gifted five memberships. Holy cow. Fucking Twinkie is like climbing Mount Everest. Like, even just like brushing my hair. You guys know that. You guys have seen that. Um, so when I said that, it's because I was like going through like a massive low. Um, I don't think that way at all. That's just like, it just goes to show that like when you're depressed, like the things you say, like, and how you feel is just so not you or who you truly are as a person. So it's, it's hard sometimes to like, I, I can understand where people are like, we don't know the real Amberlynn. And I get that because I have been so freaking just like, this is, I got all excited. I think this is the part where I get my mission. You guys, I have a mission now. Curl. I've messed up really bad with like medication. I mean, that's point blank period. Um, not taking it has my mood swings and I act irrationally and stuff like that. And it's like, now that I'm like taking medicine and stuff, I'm able to start finally like feeling like myself. Um, so yeah. Do my legs leak? No. Um... Jody's at work, right? Is Jody Jody's not here, right? Is Jody working? We got to get her out. That job is too much. I just I want I need to know. That was probably Jody. Our mod Jody has a thing about Amber's legs. I can't. That's all I'm saying. That's okay, that's I'm her thing. Through, see if I'm missing any super chats. No, I'm not going to answer anything that's like super rude about cancer. It's just not. Nobody Wait, is asking um, you anything rude about cancer. Uh, when will we get a weight and diet update? Definitely in a video coming up. So that'll be soon. Did you get a diploma or GED? I got a diploma. I walked across the stage. Walked across. Um, do you have your own internet or is it part of your lease? I have my own internet. Nobody cares. Nothing is part of my lease. Nobody cares. They surprised me and it was actually a birthday party for you. So um, that's unfortunate. And I didn't want to hurt anybody um that was planning the party so i did say that i didn't know because i didn't want to hurt anyone like everyone took the You're time so good. Um, either up. has feline um so yeah um i think instead of answering any more instagram questions i'll just talk to y'all i just wanted um them to have also the opportunity to ask some questions as well I'm not mad that Destiny's using her voice. I'm mad that Destiny is lying. And also sharing things that are um, private. Amber, you've shared everything that's private. You show, you've show you showed pictures of people's kids. You showed a video. In one of my recent videos, there's a video of you showing us a picture of your brother and his stepdaughter. It's not even his kid. I mean, it's his kid because he's, uh, you know, taken on the role of father and we respect that, but it's not even his biological child. It's not your biological relative even. And you felt fine about showing all kinds of kids. Don't talk about personal boundaries and sharing personal things because you've got no boundaries.
Exactly, Spoonie. Cannot believe people are genuinely laughing at Amber being molested. Yeah, that's... That, yeah. Who? I'm sorry. Like, this is... I, it's yeah. funny because, like I said with that Jamie comment, when you hear it, it hits you. Like, nobody, nobody in this community is laughing at that. I'm sorry. Lying bitch. Stop rewriting the narrative to make yourself look like more of a goddamn victim because nobody in this community that is full of survivors of abuse is laughing at that so just stop stop yeah. stop insulting us would i get another pet no thank no, god not while i have these three fur babies they mm -hmm. all mission mash what's the word they just go together perfectly they don't mission mash um, shut up speak english Sick of being insulted, you know? You're not the only abuse survivor in the bloody Amber, you're strong. world. Thank you. I love you, too. No, you don't. But, yeah, so I just wanted to um, talk about that. Why are you and Destiny texting? We're not, like, texting. That's that's not what's happening. I think okay. people are, like... Petty little side note, but is her hair... Does she have a lot of gray in her hair? It feels like I'm seeing a lot of gray flecks in her hair. She... No, there's anything wrong with that. I'm not, please, I'm not picking on gray hair because I'm sure I've got lots too. Lala. Lala just graduated with a master's. Lala, congratulations. Lala is so much smarter than the rest of you. <laughs> Think about Amberlynn saying that to this community with people like Lala in there. Congratulations, Lala. And Marigold, thank you for the super chat. Marigold says, do you think she's mad that Destiny is saying the relationship was mostly bad or toxic and she genuinely thought they were in love? Yeah, I bet her ego is hurt from that, Marigold. That's a great comment. I'm sure her ego's hurting from that. Like envisioning this like situation. Um, that's not what's happening. Um, you're, you're such the a most beautiful person. No, you're not on earth. Oh, thank you. Who said that? Loving Queen, this. Stop Fix saying Lynn era. Proud of you. Thank you, Manny. I appreciate it. Um, how does she only see the positive comments? I don't understand. Like, like, like people are saying, stop with the super chats. Like, let's see. Oh, there they are. Oh, but it's this handle of something person that is either Jade or a troll. We think it's a troll. We're not like texting like, hey, how you doing? No, if something comes up and I need to say something to her, I have texted her and vice versa. So um... I don't think they're in on it. I don't think they're in on it. Where are your earrings from? They're just some like hoop moments, probably like Amazon. They're not moments. They're just um, fucking earrings. Shut up. <laughs> what was your high school mascot? I went to. Nobody Thank cares you so much, and I completely <laughs> agree with that. Well, what do you nails? Agree with? I do miss having fake nails. I will say that. Your critics are weak-minded and just follow the crowd with their comments. You're not the villain they make you out to be. I care about you. Okay, again, Jasandro, thank you for gifting a member. Jasandro's renting themselves alert. Um, mm, yeah. No, Amber, no. You to be. I care about you. You're not a villain. You're not that clever. You're not that devious. You don't have that much of an agenda. Too long didn't play super chat moment because I love you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> she just. <sighs> Thank you so much. And I completely agree with that. No, of course. Like, you do. There's good examples of that. Like the whole, you know, swamp ass thing being posted over and over right now. It's like. Okay. That I agree with. There's somebody in her chat. Let's see. I don't know if you can see it here. The ass is now back on the couch where the camera was originally. Um, there's somebody that just posts in this chat over and over again. Swamp as, swamp as. 
and it's some kind of spe- real super troll because they got a whole bunch of different usernames. That's boring. You know, that's stupid. What are you, 12? That's dumb. Uh, you know, that's low hanging fruit. Small we can do minds, better. Um, follow crowds. Girl, we don't follow crowds. We are the crowd, baby. We don't follow the crowd. Get out of here with that. That's what it is. <laughs> um, does Feline like my legs? I wouldn't say that she likes them. No, I, I, that's a weird word for it. Mm-hmm. She accepts me as is. I don't see how anyone could look at my legs and be like, oh, that's hot. Like, no. But once you're in love with someone, you find flaws about them just to be beautiful naturally. I don't really know how to explain it. It's hard to explain. Okay. Do you live in a cartoon? Quite frankly, when you're in love with somebody in the beginning, oh, all their little flaws, they're just so adorable. But after a year and a half, if you're a normal, real-life human being, their flaws bug you, Amber, because that's part of being a human. It's real. It's not all like a fucking rom-com all the time. Baby sitting on my knee. You're 32 years old. At 32, I don't remember sitting on my partner's knee all that often. Like, what the hell cartoon character does she think she is? It's ridiculous. Um, I look for your videos every day. I watched you for five years. Do you think her and Feline sing in each other's mouths? Remember when she was into that? Years. Colby, wow. Thank you so much for the support. Good night, Ella. Thanks for hanging out. Yes, Feline lives with me. Where did you get your diploma? From high school? I'm confused. Yeah, we know. <laughs> I'm so confused. Because that's a big word. Have Anna. I ever been to Morocco? Diploma. No. Why would you ask her if she's been you to look Morocco? incredible in your peach shirt and winged eyeliner. Thank you. And it is even. It is. It's just the freaking windows on this side. Yeah, lighting makes your makeup crooked. <gasps> Uh, do you think you reframe specifics to victimize yourself and villainize others? Just the way you retell events is not entirely honest. And I think it is, I think it ultimately hurts you. I don't think that I do that. No, thank no, you. No, I don't do that. But thank you for giving me money to say it. Anna, thank you so much for the super chat. Amber is a member for one month. Bonjour from Montreal. Using my free chat to say, uh, hello, hola, bonjour. Bonjour, Montreal. Montreal, la belle Provence. Pardon my terrible French. I'm a bad Canadian. I know Morocco. Why would you ask her where Morocco is? Super chat. See, she doesn't like that. She's, nope, don't agree. Bye. Next. Um. Next. You're wrong. Next. How's my weight loss surgery going? I will talk more about that in a video. Okay. You want to hear about more about that in the video? Then sit somewhere different. It's just easier because how this is like set up. If you guys saw, you would understand. Yeah, her setup is really complicated. What if she got her phone sitting on a box of cereal on top of some games? And you can't move that? Christine Schaefer, thank you very much for your very generous super chat. Christine says, hey, Merck, your humorous snark and matter of fact attitude really helped me get through some tough times lately. It feels like I'm hanging out with my favorite aunt. Never stop being you and calling out ALR's BS. Love you. Oh, Christine, I'm so sorry you've been having a hard time. But you know what? That's okay because it just means the good times feel better. What did I say to somebody today? Life, it's like a wave. You got to ride it when it's good and just doggy paddle through the rest. I'm glad we could help, though. And thank you so much. That's really kind of you. Yeah, all of a sudden the weight loss surgery chat is really, really... um, Got really quiet. But yeah, um, I think I'm going to go probably once this hits 40 minutes, I'd say that's a good time. Um, So we have like four and a half minutes left. If it would have been three minutes before 30 minutes, she would have said, I think I'm going to go when we hit 30 minutes because she's got nothing left to say. She didn't set in her mind that her live stream was going to be 40 minutes long. She has just scrambling now because without comments, without, see, she came on the live and all she had to talk about was her rebutting what Destiny said. Once that was finished, because she's got no personality, no life, she doesn't do anything, she has no real interest beyond toddler games, 
She has no content. Her content is your chat. That's her content. So if the chat isn't in her favor, she doesn't have content. And she can't keep talking about her electricity bill and her Play-Doh because she knows that's not really holding anybody's interest anymore. She's already covered the Destiny stuff. She's got nothing left to say. So she's going to she's gonna cash out here. No, I am not Polly. We know. Questions you've oh, been asked. being super sweet, calling me beautiful and stuff. Do I miss Tucson? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. Do, do. I do miss, like, the buses there, I think, because it was, like, a bus stop, like, every five feet, I swear to God. So it was, like, no matter where you were in Tucson, there is a bus that will pick you up and drop you off where you need to go. Like, I will say that I love that. Wow. Public transit. City has public transit. Wow, crazy! You're My in... favorite state to live in was probably California. Don't tell me Lexington, Kentucky. Lexington, Kentucky has got to have some public transit system. Yeah, it's a fairly reasonable size city, is it not? Here, I won't struggle here. Let me mute for a second. Is there a public transit system in Lexington, Kentucky? On the website lexingtonkey.gov, they say Lextron is the public transportation authority in Lexington. You can find information to include bus fares. Thank you, Google. Now, so Google can improve, it would help to know how satisfied you are with that answer. How would you rate it if one's the worst and five's the best? I get to rate the answer. 10 out of 10 recommend. Sorry, I don't understand. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Couldn't resist. Hello, Patrick. From Luca. You've grown so much. Thank you. They did answer the question. New York or LA? They said I'm there's gonna go a with LA. Yeah, it's always been like a little weird little mini dream of mine to live in L.A. I don't think that'll ever happen, but. She's never mentioned never that. Know. Probably because all the she wants to live in the content. We need to make that content house, the hater house. Amber will have the whole first floor because she can't do stairs very well. And then all the reaction channels can have smaller bedrooms upstairs. <laughs> what do you think about fiance? She's coming for you, three? Deanna. Um, She's coming, D. I don't really have, like, I don't, I don't know her, so I can't really have an opinion. No, Seattle's what over. What is the worst thing you've gotten lately in your P.O. box? I don't really want to talk about that, um, but thank you for the questions and for engaging in my chat, um, but there are some things that <laughs> Man, are Can you imagine Amber doing, doing that shopping trip up Rodeo Drive like in Pretty Woman? <laughs> Big mistake. Big mistake. <laughs> um, your skin looks amazing. What do I use? A um, filter? Foundation. Uh, I don't I don't bathe and I use a lot of filters. Thanks for asking. Yeah. Yeah. Twinkie looks pretty cute back there though, today. Little twinkster. How long are you going to talk about Destiny for? Probably not much longer. I just know that there are a lot of questions still floating about rumors and lies that I want to clear up. Yeah, um, of course. So yeah. You're not Miley clearing anything Kate up. Winslet? Definitely Miley. Who's asking? My him? boyfriend is an Amberlynn stand. Peace and love. Aw. Tell him thank <laughs> you. I appreciate the support. <laughs> Why didn't I do this earlier? I'm a fool. I'm a damn fool. Um, no, this is not a live stream era. I want to make that very clear. No, videos are coming back. We are not working together for views. No, because trust me, if that was the case, I wouldn't do live streams. I would just make this um, into video forms. So yeah, because I'm actually losing money with these live streams. Yes, I am. Because I guess what I talk about, YouTube says, no, no, He's no. He's moved again. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, well, yeah, girl, you called you called Destiny a runt, but you didn't say runt. 
I know I get to limited monetization. You know, I get limited monetization for that too, but I still make money. She's still making bank on these. Don't worry. Don't worry. I know you were worried. So yeah, I think that's about it. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this live stream. I will be back with a video. I'm still trying to plan it out. I think I know, I think I know what my um schedule is gonna be like, but I don't want to say anything in case I change my mind. But I think I know. I think I know, folks. And it's gonna it's be a week. mixture of videos and live streams. So one live stream, yeah. one video. Um, a week. I'm not gonna it's promise sweet. anything right now though, but that's just what I'm thinking. So I'm gonna go. Um, thank you guys so much. You have the cutest nose. Thank you. I get told that a lot. A lot, a lot. Live streams are funner. Someone said. <laughs> Oh, I didn't realize how bright it was. All right. I'm going to go. I love you guys. And I appreciate you guys' support and for being a part of my live stream. Bye. Bye. No, sorry, Ethan. Nobody wants to watch you, unfortunately. Well, not unfortunately. Sorry. Let's go like this. And there we go. There you go. So there you go. Amberlynn's, uh, that was exciting, right? Wasn't, wasn't. Nobody says that to her. It's so weird when she says stuff like that. Oh, everybody says that to me all the time. Everybody's always telling me how cute my nose is. What adult person talks like that? <laughs> somebody, do you understand how to gracefully accept a compliment? If somebody says, oh, you've got a really cute nose, the response isn't, thanks, everybody always tells me that. That is not a gracious way to accept a compliment, Amberlynn. A nice way to accept a compliment is to simply smile and maybe say thank you. That's all. That's all you have to do. You don't have to add anything else in. At 32, a lot of people, you know, it, Dwight Wolf, he says, who compliments noses? You know, it's not just for babies. I, I often look at my adult friends and say to them, your nose is adorable. Don't you do that? You guys don't do that? Come on now. Do we need a nose appreciation thread in the Discord? <laughs> um, I'm just catching up with you guys and seeing what's going on here. Okay, the man has finally settled down. Janine Too Fabulous says, when me, when someone compliments me on my clothes, LOL, I got it on sale $12 at Marshall's, LOL, I can never just say, I do that too, because I'm cheap, I want to go, oh no, it was just cheap, like I have this guilt about, uh, it's child of narc thing. Crusader has feet. Oh, um, yeah, I know, I took a picture today that I wanted to post in Crusader's Discord for him later. <laughs> It's a foot picture. <laughs> it's a picture. I thought I thought Crusaders Discord would like it. They like that sort of thing. Listen, if I find it, I'm going to show you. If it's been uploaded, I'll show it to you. It's cute. It's not my fault. Tim makes me... Oh, here, I'll show you some stupid stuff. Oh, I can't show you because that's on my phone. I have a stupid picture I'll post in the Discord. Because Tim makes me put things on when we go out shopping. And then, like, likes to take pictures of me looking sad with things like stupid hats on and stuff. So today he put on... He was making me try on high heels. But then I found this... <laughs> so this is... I don't know if, you, if I can show you this. Do you want to see a, a foot pic that we'll put in... We'll put this in Crusader's Discord. There, he's, this will be for Crusader's foot channel. It's too big. The shoes are too big. But we thought it was kind of cute. <laughs> cute, right? <laughs> so, Alex is away uh, <coughs> getting married. So I'm sure when he comes home, he's going to love to come home. To Merck's foot. I know, free foot pics. I'm trying to get on WikiFeet. No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. 
<laughs> oh, I couldn't wear those. And then Tim made me put on like really high heels and he laughed at me. Free foot pictures. I know because you guys are really weird. It's just a foot. I know it's funny. It's a, We said it's like a, I don't know. First we were mocking the shoe and then we kind of fell in love with it afterwards. And then I kind of liked it with my camo tights. And then I thought it looked whorish. And then we put them back. And then I came home. <laughs> Michael Williams would like to remind us once more via Super Chat that in case you forgot, please don't ever forget because it's Pride, Pride Month. And even when it's not Pride Month, Michael still loves men. There you go. We got the flags to prove it. We got the flags to prove it. I'm going to go. I think we've had just about enough. It's been almost two hours. And, uh, you know, I'm not as starving like I usually am, but I'm kind of a little peckish. And maybe take a little breather before we go into play Job Job. We have a lot of new alerts now. Uh, tomato jam, you better, you might have to get some more supplies for the welcome wagon because you've got a lot of alerts to welcome. She's going to have to make like a, like there's going to have to be like a barrel of sweet tea in that, in that discord tonight. For sure. Uh, so, <coughs> excuse me. I'm sorry for coughing in the mic. <coughs> I'm going to start, keep coughing in the mic now. Uh, thank you all for joining me tonight. I will have to change the thumbnail because we didn't look at the Mean Girl video. We can save that. I was going to look at, it was my video I wanted to look at. My video. Because I'm a narc like that. Anyway, thank you all for joining me. You guys were blowing me away with your generosity tonight. Amazing. You're amazing human beings. I'm sorry I missed my upload on Friday. That very I think that's the second time ever that's happened. But, you know, I was kind of, you know, sicky. And I did upload. If you don't know, there's a new vlog up. And there there is a classic true crime podcast up as well uh, in the members tab. For all you new members, there's a members only video tab on my YouTube channel. Check it out. There is a ton of content on there now. It just keeps getting more and more and more and more. So if you're new, you got a whole bunch of stuff to watch. Thank you all for joining me and the sleeping handsome, handsome man. And thank you all for being so freaking amazing. Every day you blow my mind. No kidding. For real. For realsies. We'll see you all in the Discord. I think we need to do some job, job, jobbing. Let's say uh, 30 minutes from now, 9 p.m. I'll meet you in job job. Thanks for coming. And until we meet again, please be kind and hasta luego. <laughs>